Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest issue on Lily in the Valley. It's such an exciting time to be a florist. Did you watch the wedding of the century? It was so grand. Our dear commoner Kate is now royalty. She's Catherine and known as Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge. Her wedding was so fabulous, and overnight, Lily of the Valley became a starring attraction. And overnight, the hand-wired bouquet is back. Today, I'll show you how to wire this beautiful, fragile blossom and how to take care of it so you, too, can create a royal wedding bouquet. Delicate Lily of the Valley is surprisingly sturdy. We call it delicate because it has such a tiny little bud, but in reality, they hold up quite well. The biggest problem is availability. They have a very short season for natural growth, and yes, we've figured out how to grow them in the greenhouse, bringing them to bloom year-round, but it's not easy. It's very difficult. So for this, I actually bought the plants and then harvested my own so that I could show you on the video how to work with them. The season doesn't really start for a couple more weeks here in the Pacific Northwest. Generally, in the season, they'll be about twice this size. But you can't count on that because year-round, we get these little shorter little guys. And when you get them in, the stems may be this short. In a perfect world, they're about twice, but not always. When you bring them in, be it as a cut flower or as a plant, you want to give them a fresh cut and let them fully hydrate before you do anything. Make sure you use flower food so that they have every little help they can get. And then once they've hydrated, make sure that you spray them down with crowning glory, coating the surface to lock the moisture in. That way they're going to last for hours, maybe even days. You'll be surprised how sturdy they are. Then when it comes to the wiring and taping, you have choices. You can use traditional annealed wire, and depending on what you're making, it can be a 26 gauge or a 22 gauge. Wouldn't go any heavier than that. And then tape, but do you want to use light green to match the foliage, or do you want to use white to match the heads? It's a personal choice, or the bride's choice. Does she want her bouquet to be 100% white, or does she want green to show? Then you might use the green tape or 100% white, the white tape. Or do you want to do something a little more contemporary using the decorative wires? Yes, the bullion wire works really well when you're wiring a boutonniere or even a small corsage. So choices, which material do you want to do? It depends on what you want to make. I had such fun when I was gathering flowers for this demonstration. I called and sent out a notice to all my friends, who has Lily of the Valley? And I finally found these off of the Canadian auction. They came in out of Vancouver, BC, by way of friends of mine at Mainland Floral Wholesale. And they were brought down here to the Pacific Northwest in Portland so that I could share them with you. Here in Portland, my season usually starts around Mother's Day, but we've had such a cold time, it's running late. So we aren't going to see ours until almost the first of June. But I was talking to friends back east where it's already warm and their yards are covered with the lily of the valley already. So depending on where you are, the season can begin as early as April and then continue on as late as June. But you never know for sure exactly when it's going to fall because it depends on the weather. But for now, thank you to Mainland, we have it and we can start working with it. When it comes to the wiring and taping, I clip off the natural stem so it'll have a lighter, more delicate finish. Then there's two ways you can do this. Either take your tape and tape lightly around the end, creating a cushion and then take your wire and pierce through the tape. So the tape is what you're piercing through. Bend it straight down and then continue taping. Now when I'm doing it for a bouquet, like Princess Kate carried, this is what I use, a 22 gauge wire and I tape down. Another option, especially if you're doing it for a boutonniere, 
is to take your lily of the valley, clip it down, and then using a 26 gauge, a thinner wire, bend it in a U, and then just set it right beside the stem. And I even will go over the top of the bottom lateral sometimes, just kind of hanging it over, right over that lowest floret, and then reaching up as high as I can, taping all the way down. So you can pre-tape and pierce, or hook and tape. Both ways work equally as well. For an updated simple boutonniere, just gather the lily of the valley in your hand, facing it in the directions you want it to face, and then clip the stems down slightly so that they're even. Then using your bullion wire, just start at a top and create a band, wrapping round and round and round. Not so tight that you create a tourniquet or snap it off. You want just a nice band that holds it together, giving it a bit of the gold touch then when you finish, twist the two ends together, give it a clip, and it's ready to pin on. Lily of the Valley lend themselves to such romance. I thought what better than to add a touch of blue to go along with the poem, something borrowed, something blue. To do this, I just take a bit of ribbon and cut it, tie it like I'm tying a shoe, giving a little knot in the center, then go back and just go back and forth, maybe just once, very delicate. Figure eight it, give it a cut, and then using the knotted piece, tie it under your finger. This becomes the wire, holding it all together. Pulling it taut, and then I knot it again to make sure it doesn't come undone for a very delicate little bow. Then taking the lily of the valley, clustering it in my hands. It's already been wired and taped, so it's all ready. I can bend it out a little bit. And tying it together with the bow, just wrapping it around. Bring it all the way around one more time, and then knotting it underneath, holding it tightly so I don't let go and let it shift around. There we go. And then knot it one more time. I don't want it to come undone. Clip the ends. And then reach down. Just run your fingers along the stems, giving a little bit of curvature so it's not quite so stiff. And then clipping those. Slightly staggered length. And we give it a little more curve. And we've got a perfect little nosegay corsage to go with our boutonniere. Now the hunt begins. We're all looking for that perfect lily of the valley so that we can create bouquets, boutonnieres, corsages, everything that the brides are asking for. Now you know how to wire them, so it'll be easy for you. The hard part is always the hunt. For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. And yes, we do have a full-length DVD on just designing with Lily of the Valley. So check it out. I'm sure you're going to want that too. And if you've got questions, all of this is a little challenging when it comes to the hunt. And we're here. We can give you some advice as to places to look, who to ask, where to find it. Don't hesitate to contact us through the website or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. If email is easier, use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. For now, have fun, enjoy the hunt, and do something you love.